Hello, I'm your Consensus Doc Support Specialist. I'm going to show you three ways to collaborate and share documents and projects on the new Consensus Docs platform. So when you start at the My Projects tab, we're going to share one single contract to start with. And so I'm going to go into the project. I'm going to view project details. And I'm going to open the name of the contract that I want to share. In this case, it's going to be our 300. So I click on the orange arrow to the left of the name, and then I go to the level that I want to share. So I want to share this first version. I'm going to open up the wheel to the right of the contract name, click Manage Collaborators, type a message. And then I will go ahead and send this to the person I want to collaborate with. And if you've already uh, sent a document to this person in the past, their email will automatically populate. You can go ahead and select it. And then you need to decide, do you want to send it to them in Word so that they can edit? Or do you want to send it to them in the read only? In this case, I'm going to send it to them as the read only so you can see how it looks. I'm going to click invite to collaborate. And now my collaborator should get an email saying that I want to collaborate with them on this document. But let's go into the My Collaborations tab of the um, collaborator. So you can see the project name has showed up in the My Collaborations tab. View project details. And now I'm going to go ahead and download the version that was sent to me. Click on the document and open it. So I did um, send it in read only so that way they could just read it. And that's as far as they can go. Um, they could, you know, add any managing supporting documents, which would be like drawings or anything along those lines. But because I sent it in a read only format, they can't make any changes. So now that we've shared a single contract, I'm going to show you how to share a, a whole level of negotiations in like the entire contract negotiations. So I'm going to go back into my main profile. I'm going to go to my projects. And I want to share the Washington DC condo project. Um, and I want to share all the negotiations that are tied to this 205 contract and so there's only two but you're going to click on the wheel to the right of the contract name and it's going to say manage contract collaborators so i'm going to add in the email address i want to send it this time in an editable format and I'm going to invite to collaborate. So again, an email will go out so that person knows to go into the Consensus Docs account, but let's see what it looks like on their account. So when we go into My Collaborations, we select Project Details. You are going to see both of the contracts, the standard and the version I changed in this situation. So that is sharing at the actual contract level to include all negotiations. There's one final way that you can share um, collaborations with other users, and that's by projects. So we're going to start at the My Project level again, and I want to go ahead and share this entire project. Once I'm in the project, I'm going to go see the project name, click the wheel to the right of the project name, and I'm going to manage project collaborators. So this person is going to get all of the contracts, all of the negotiations tied to this project. And so again, 
I've emailed this account quite a few times. I'm going to invite to collaborate. Now, as you can see, there's no selection of editable or read only because you are inviting them to the full project. So once I invite them to collaborate, let's go see what it looks like. I'll go to my collaborations. Now remember, we only shared the uh, PDF only version last time. So this time we're gonna see all of the contracts. And so I can go ahead and edit all of these contracts and they're gonna download in Word. So that is three ways that you can collaborate using the Consensus Docs platform. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call at 866-925-3627 or email us support at consensusdocs.org. Thank you for watching.